The Indian government is gearing up to resume the sale of state-owned fertilizer companies in the next fiscal year, as reported by the Mint. This decision aligns with the Maori administration's strong emphasis on boosting domestic production and reducing dependency on imports. The plan involves the gradual selling off of eight major public sector fertilizer companies, and there is also consideration for reopening some closed plants in preparation for sale. The fertilizer companies identified for potential sale include Brahmaputra Valley Fertilizer Corp. Ltd., Fertilizers and Chemicals Travancore, FCI Aravalli Gypsum, and Mineral Ltd. Madras Fertilizers Ltd., National Fertilizers Ltd., Rashtriya Chemicals Fertilizers, Fertilizer Corp. of India Ltd., and Hindustan Fertilizer Corp. Dr. Lullad. In addition, specific units of Fertilizer Corp. located in Gorakhpur, Sindri, Telchur, and Ramagundam are also being considered for sale. Although the plan is still under discussion, a final decision is expected soon. Previously, in 2022, Niti Aayog had recommended selling these eight fertilizer companies, but the government decided to focus on increasing domestic production instead. The current goal is to reduce reliance on imported fertilizers and achieve self-sufficiency before proceeding with the sale of these companies. The government aims to cut urea imports by 30% by the end of 2024 in the upcoming fiscal year. FY25, the fertilizer subsidy has been reduced from RS1, 88,894 crore in FY24 to RS1, 64,000 crore. Despite this reduction, the sale of stakes in these companies will not impact subsidy payments. Experts note that efforts to revive old plants and Established new ones have led to a 20% increase in domestic production, reaching 31.4 million tons, and a reduction in imports by at least 10% in FY24. In FY24, India imported 7.04 million tons of urea valued at $2.61 billion down from 7.57 million tons in FY23, the country which primarily imports urea from Oman. Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE aims to cease urea imports entirely by FY26. This strategic move by the Indian government is a crucial step towards achieving self-sufficiency and reducing dependency on imported fertilizers.